Hi, in this video, I will tell you how to write a good problem statement. But before this, just a recap of the last video where we did discuss that the ending statement of a research background is usually the practical issue discussed in a research. So just taking this practical issue in the other slide and as I said before this is the ending statement of the research background but at the same time sorry but at the same time this is a starting statement of writing a problem statement as well so now if we see this practical issue that in Malaysia the e-business growth is not as much as e-business growth in many other developed countries so then very next question is is it that somebody ever studied this problem so if so there are number of reasons that are usually found to address this problem so this problem if you can see it's a very general problem so many people usually discuss this problem and come up with many of the reasons so what i would say here that to write a problem statement i will analyze the core reasons behind this practical issue by searching some past research work then I will see what is the core reason that is mostly discussed then is there any research gap now this is important so usually what we do is to add the body of knowledge so just suppose if somebody else already discuss this problem or any research gap so you don't need to study further in that particular topic because somebody might say that this is something already have done and you don't need to particularly discuss that issue so in that case you need to give a proper reason why you are conducting this particular research so for for the convenience of audience 
I have used this example this is just uh, an assuming data so the purpose is to show you how to write a good problem statement so all the references used here so I highlight this as black so just confirming this is this is just an assuming data so as you see it start with a statement that is the concern of Malaysian consumers may explain why Malaysia is far behind in e-business growth compared to other countries which were discussed such as USA China Australia Canada so now according to ABC for example many Malaysian web vendors are rushing to establish an internet presence despite a great deal of confusion about this about its actual impact on their businesses so just going further 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 so now they further note that consumers who have a high level of trust in web vendors are more likely to carry out their online transactions whereas others describe concerns about unsafe products insecure payment methods loss of personal privacy and misuse of personal information so now you just see this ending statement therefore the topic of trust is a valid reason why Malaysian consumers are less interested in online purchasing than consumers in other benchmark e-business countries here you must know that whatever you write it is not that each and every person will agree with you but your own point should be to prove whatever you are saying has a proper justification so now by the first paragraph we come to know that there is one variable that can be discussed in my study and that is the trust so what we are principally interested in to create the purchase intention among the people of Malaysia so now we have two variables purchase intention and the trust so now coming forth the consumers concern about making a purchase decision is referred to by scholars as perceived risk so earlier we were discussing about the consumer concerns such as unsafe product insecure payments loss of personal privacy misuse of personal information so now these can be categorized under the perceived risk so now we have three variables perceived risk consumer trust and the purchase intention so now there is a precise discussion about the relationship between these three variables for example there are several studies which I have highlighted black that have examined the role of perceived risk as a chief barrier to online purchase and tries to understand the theoretical relationship among perceived risk trust and purchase intention so there is some of the discussion of those studies okay then this statement is important meanwhile the related literature suggests that consumer trust in a web vendor is a key predictor of purchase intention so now the relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention can be direct 
and it can be mediated by consumer trust so in this paragraph what is justified is written at the ending statement so so where is the issue an academic issue so there appears to be no clear research on the mediating role of trust in the relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention so here you can see that I have used some safe words to describe my problem statement so now because I'm a researcher so I can claim that whatever the research in the similar context has been done is not clear to me so I find it a need to conduct a research on that particular academic gap so now to justify my point because I have to justify so I have written the existing study mainly investigated internet user demographic reasons for shopping online the respondents preferred item when buying online and satisfaction or dissatisfaction so these are the common topic in which I have found some research that can be identical to my work however I particularly found that this gap has not been investigated clearly in the existing literature so thus due to this gap a study is required to develop a framework centered on the role of trust as a mediating variable in the relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention so now I would add here one more box and uh, write an academic gap which is that there appears to be no clear research on the mediating role of trust in the relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention so this is how to write a good problem statement but bear in mind your research purpose always have to be in line with the ending statement or the ending paragraph of your problem statement so in the next video we will be discussing how to write a good purpose of the study along with writing some objectives as well as the research questions thank you very much